Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here with Freddy and the Critters. It is February 28th, 2022. It is Monday evening at 6.37 p.m. We got home just a little bit ago. And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. I actually have on makeup today. Yes. <laughs> I decided to shock the world and actually wear some makeup, including the false eyelashes, just because I wanted to do something nice for myself. And thank you. So, um, uh, we had a good rest of the Sunday. Um, Brad made chili, but it was hotter than the blazes. Wasn't his fault. I said, go ahead and put in a can of those tomatoes with the, the, the chilies in it. Last time I did, it wasn't that hot. I think the longer they sit there, the hotter they get. And we have big babies about. It. So, yeah. We did stop at Hardy's on the way home, but they have that deal. It's like 10 chicken tenders, and you can have whatever side you want. We got macaroni cheese, and then you got like a half gallon of tea. You can have, it's, they have sweet tea, or you can get the unsweetened, which we got, um, for twelve ninety nine. So that's a good price, because I am not paying $12 plus for a hamburger, fries, and, and Coke, please. You know, I know food prices have really gone up, but I still got bills to pay like everybody else does. So, um, if you look for the deals, you can find some decent deals. Um, the chicken tenders are very good. How many do we have left? Probably five. Four or five. Yeah. And, I mean, that was our dinner. We split the macaroni and cheese. It was a small container. And then, you know, the chicken tenders, and then there's plenty left. Plus, Brad did pick up a, a sandwich that was free at Harris Teeter because we had enough points. And we'll probably have that later tonight. We only had a, a protein bar before this. Um, or we'll have it tomorrow. Or we might have a little bit of it tonight. <laughs> I really, really want some vegetables. I'm really, really craving some vegetables tonight. So I'll probably have some broccoli or something because I just, you know how you just really get craving something? It's like, that's really what I'm craving. So, um, did some looming last night, but I have to show you guys a few, what, what came in. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to turn this over to Brad because he had physical therapy assessment today. And I know a lot of you guys were really concerned because he hadn't gone to physical therapy yet. And I'm going to hand it over to you. What did they have to say and everything? Uh, basically she was blown away at um how well i was doing um that uh, uh you know it's been exactly two weeks since my surgery and she took the bandage off and she said there's no streaking it looked very very good uh she was really no drainage no drainage nothing she was really surprised is it stitches or staples i don't know okay i'm gonna as soon as we're done on here i'm gonna drop my pants and let you <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, she had me do the assessment, which consists of uh, range of motion. Uh, well, what is that? I mean, what did they do? Because well, I stayed out in the Jeep while he did this. At one point in time, I was laying flat on my back, and she had me pull my left leg out, and then she measured the angle. And then um, at another point in time, she had me laying on my back and had me pull my knee up to my chest to measure that angle. Was that painful? Not mm -hmm. until, you know, once I get too far, but that's, I mean, that's pretty much, for me, that was pretty much normal. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said that um, she had never seen anybody um, doing this well after two weeks. And, uh, um, uh, yeah, I can't remember what other range of motions. The only, the biggest problem I had was when you've got to um, stand there. And she had me stand with my feet together, slightly apart, and then one ahead of the other and, and everything. Yeah. And, and uh, she had me do it with my eyes open and then with my eyes closed. And with my eyes closed, that was, that was uh, kind of difficult. Bit, yeah, but with the neuropathy, without any feeling in my feet, um, I did not realize how critical the feeling in your feet was when you're just trying to stand. And uh, it is it is very, very critical. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, uh, so she said I did exceptionally well. And uh, she asked me, well, how many times do you, how many times a week can you come in? I said, I'd rather just only have it two. And she said there, she wasn't going to suggest more than that. So yeah. uh, 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 she printed out a schedule. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I go in once a week. She gave me some homework to do. Oh, yeah? Yep. You didn't tell me that? Yep. It's so it's some, norm, some exercises and stuff to do at home? Yeah. Well, and, you've been doing exercises yeah. here. You know, and, and uh, just some of the the, the um, stretching mainly, mm -hmm. the motion and everything. And, uh, you know, I said, she asked what my main <laughs> goal was. And uh, I said, to for one thing, to be able to walk like a normal human being. And then I said, you know, I'm really hoping I get a chance to um, um, get a bicycle and go bike riding again like I used to. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said, well, they'll do everything they can on the therapy as long as I keep working toward it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. So, um, yeah, and that's. So you're doing well enough. They didn't even schedule any more appointments for to, for this week. Yeah. They'll start next week. Yeah. And uh, um, I did ask about. Um, about when I can drive again, and uh, she said that um, that'll be up to uh, yeah. Dr. McAvoy, and I don't see him until next month. The twenty second. Okay. Yeah. So I got, I got uh, uh, three more weeks of Teresa. Got to be toting you around. Yeah, Teresa having to, to chauffeur me. Please. I'm turning. You know, there's some vehicles coming. He's like, I'm gonna die. He's just joking. My mic. Yeah, I'm a you, good driver. You've done that to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, when you're the passengers, those vehicles look like they're, it's like, I don't, I've, I've, I used to be really bad about being in a vehicle and freaking out. In fact, I've done whole trips with like a, a coat over my head. Yeah. Like when we're out of town and stuff, you know, when it's, when it's a blizzard and stuff. But, yeah. um, when we went to, uh, Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We were just ahead yeah. of a ahead of a blizzard that hit. Sometimes and, not ahead of it. Sometimes yeah, in well, it. Yeah, when we went, we had it west out of Casper, and uh, you know, I mean, it was getting to a point where I was thinking about, well, maybe we should just turn around and go back. But then all of a sudden, it just like we got ahead of the storm, and uh, um, when we were going down, I don't remember what that road is, but you're going on the you're up on the the high plains of Utah and you're dropping down into the lower plains and uh, um, that was during the blizzard mm -hmm. and Teresa was kind of freaking out and you know she had a shawl with her and I asked I suggested that you know well, it wasn't if... a shawl really it was this knit coat more oh, like okay. wearing a blanket <laughs> and I, I suggested to her well, why don't you lay, lay back and put the blanket over your head and, and uh, let me stress out it was kind of like me reacting in the seat next to him was not helping him at all, no. you know, so. Oh, the, the worst thing is, is um, we had a CD of Louis Armstrong and Ella Fitzgerald, and I love, I love listening to them until I have to listen to them like 17 times <laughs> in a row. It's a, well, it's a, it's a wonderful yeah, it world, was or was it? Lots of feeling, or I don't. It was the whole record, a uh, whole, whole album, one. yeah. And uh, um, I remember I got up and you just said nicely, "Could we maybe have listen to something else?" Then I realized, <laughs> yeah. And the way that it was a rental car, and the way the car was designed, um, I could not reach the CD player. Yeah. You know, and uh, uh, so I wasn't going to take a chance. But oh yeah. You know, I still love Louie and Ella, but, uh, but yeah, that's yeah. 20 years ago. So. I did not sleep well last night. I had one of the worst nights of insomnia probably ever. I had to make myself go to sleep at 9. Because I, I could have stayed up. So now, now I'm really feeling it. Because, two, we just ate. So, you know, you get... Home, you get relaxed, you get a full belly, you're like, <sighs> but, um, you things that came in today, um, I told you guys I was buying these earrings, 
don't know if you can, how well you can see them. They're just, you know, fake diamond. This one I already had. The cubic. Thank you. And I'll show you the full set. This I already had put some in. Um, I got two sets of them because they were like six ninety nine for six pairs. Can't beat that. Is it six pairs? Maybe it's more than six. Let's see. It's six. But I really like them because this is what they are. Yeah. So it's nice if you have multiple piercings or whatever. Because uh, you can start, you know, one hole and they just keep going up smaller. Or you could do it reverse if you give one or two, I guess. But, yeah. So, I just wanted something to look kind of classy and stuff. So I didn't want it to look real trashy. You know, you know, I'm all about putting holes in my face currently. So, you know, let's keep it classy. Let's keep, you know, the momentum lock going that you, at least you're having the same, you know, kind of looking stud. Uh, like when I do this and I do my uh, eyebrow. I was talking with kind of my adoptive daughter, our adoptive daughter, Emily, and uh, uh, she just got her septum pierced, and uh, I was telling her what I was going to do, what I was going to pierce next, and she's like, you rock, you're so cool. <laughs> like, you know, I don't know about that, but, <laughs> you know, I know I am kind of, you know. But you're very non-judgmental compared to... Well, yeah, because I want to see people... I want to see everybody expand their wings and just be your true self and not have to worry about persecution or judgment from anybody else. Let's just all do that. Let's just all be ourselves without and not judging somebody else for what they say. And I'm equally in the past and stuff have been just as bad about being judgmental about what somebody says. And stuff because you do get your hackles up as I call it and you're all defensive and you're like waiting for somebody to say something you know and then you're gonna bam pounce on them like I'm like a cat on a mouse but you know um let's just all let each other be you know just be yourself and it's such a freeing thing I'm teaching my husband that currently too is let's just be ourselves. You know, we had this talk, oh, was it this morning or maybe it was yesterday, about <coughs> let's not agree with the other person if we that's something that we really don't agree with or really don't want. Don't just go and do something because it's I want or he wants. You know, if it's something that we really don't want to do, just say, hey, that's cool for you, but I don't really want to do it. You know, like there'll be times that maybe he wants to go fishing that maybe that day I really don't want to. Maybe I don't feel that great. Maybe I need, I have a hot date with the water pills. You know, maybe there's a craft I want to do or something um, or somewhere I want to go. And it's like, no, I really don't want to, but you go ahead. Then it'll be sometimes I'll be all for it. Like, hey, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. You know, it's like he never, we talked about this, remember the other day, that he never going to want to go to a yarn store with me because he would be bored to death. Just like I'm never going to want to go to a lumber store, a lumber yard with him because he's going to take his time, just like I would in a yarn store. He can be looking at the different woods, the different grains, the different characters, you know, if they're straight, if they're not, and stuff. And this all takes a long time, especially if you're paying for some of the, really premium pieces of wood and we all know the cost of wood currently so you know you better get something you really love <laughs> you know um so and i can appreciate that but it's not something i want to stand there and you know he can quickly show me when he gets home just like i can quickly show him the yarn when i get home so um you know it's just about being yourself i hope we all can learn and can teach our younger generation to do that. Let's be respectful of other people, but let's be ourselves. You know, I think this world would be a lot better place if we were that. Let's be kind, let's be courteous, let's have some decent manners, but let's be ourselves too. And be more accepting of others. Yes, yes. Because we're all different and just because somebody is very different, because like I'm different than a lot of people my age and I know that. 
I get along well with people younger and older than myself, too. Um, you know, but I'm just me. You know, I can't, I can't explain it any other way. I'm just, right now, at my late, well, not, we're not that old compared, you know, but at this age, I'm just now saying, hey, I want to just be me without the judgments, without anything. I mean, I just want to be me. You know, when when is a better play, time, too, when you move somewhere else so you don't have any of the judgment of anybody you grew up with or anything and just say, hey, I'm just me. Like it or not, that's how I am. So, I told you guys so the other day um, that I did get... I wanted to show you guys, too. I usually order, usually from Amazon. It depends on if Walmart has it cheaper or not. But Walmart makes me mad about buying over-the-counter medication because you never know where it's coming from and how long it might take. And you think you're putting in an order and it's supposed to all be there within maybe three to four days. And, of course, we all understand that shipping and stuff right now with the trucking uh, uh, convoys and stuff is, is going to be a little bit longer. And I'll gladly wait, but not when they tell me it's going to be a month. So I've been ordering most of our supplements and and over the counter from Amazon. And so I mean you can get a great big bottle of this for like twelve ninety nine or something. You know, Tyne L P M. Three hundred and seventy five capsules that'll last you a long time. But my loom set did come in. I can't believe how fast this was. I didn't I knew it said it was supposed to be here Monday and I just ordered it two days ago, but I didn't think with the shipping and stuff it would be I thought, oh, they're gonna have a delay, you know. And I was prepared for it, but so you see the purple and the gray and then the orange. Um, so, yeah, I, I busted the gray and the purple. So now I have two orange ones. So, yeah. And my purple, I have a purple again. So I'm happy about that. I hate to pay the price, but I'm happy about it. We thought about going to Dollar Tree today, but we did not because it was starting to get a little dark and Brad was starting to get a little tired, you know, because he, he had done the assessment and then he had, um, he didn't walk into Harris Teeter. He was going to, but then the carryout brought him a cart, a, a driving cart. And, and so Brad had that, which is probably good. Cause you said there was a very long line mm -hmm. at the pharmacy. Yeah. But I was very, very proud of Brad because. He walked with a cane. He We had to get gas. And so he walked over to pay for it using just a cane and stuff. That must have felt so freeing. It was. That must have felt. And I was watching you walk, and it's like, he's starting to come back. My husband is starting to come back because, I mean, you're starting, he is moving so much better and stuff. And his hair looks great today. <laughs> you know, he asked me what he could do about his hair because he... He's not growing it long or anything, but, it, you know, he doesn't necessarily want it to be a buzz cut unless it's summertime and he's hot. But, um, so I gave him a little bit of hair product, a little bit of hair putty, and, you know, he did that, combed it back, and it looks nice. Thank you. You know, it's probably the nicest your hair's looked in a long time, honey. Thank you. You know, so, um, he's rocking it. Yep, I just follow her advice. And he's hardly taking any pain meds now. Did you take some, though, because... I just took some Tylenol. Yeah, that's about all he's taking. Yeah. So, you know, he's really busting it. He's really, you know, doing very well. Yeah, because right now my back is starting to. Well, maybe let me you should know. take some. I, I don't know. Okay, that'll be enough. Okay. Um, but we were gonna go to Dollar Tree, but um, cause I wanted to get some more of the wreath, uh, the foam wreath to, to use to make um, wreath tool wreath. Um, but I'm going to order them, because if you order them and have them shipped to a specific store, they can go pick them up. Then we can go in there and get things like we need to get oven cleaner, more Drano, more vinegar. We used all of what we had on that stuff. I have a little bit of vinegar, white vinegar. And, um, I don't know. There was a few other things we were yeah, looking at. I can't else. remember. I don't remember what else. It's usually where a lot of times I'll get a bulk of my cleaners and stuff. So, you know. Did you say oven cleaner? Oven cleaner, yeah. 
really watch. You guys, I just want a word of caution that if you're doing Walmart delivery, really watch what they're doing because more and more they're not being, um, we cannot really count on them to deliver those orders. We're not even talking a couple hours past when they're supposed to, but even that day and stuff. You know, a good friend of mine, I'm not going to say who she is because I don't know if she wants me to or not. Really having a lot of trouble even getting, this is the second day of not receiving her Walmart order for delivery. Which to me is total BS. That's why I don't give Walmart any more business than I have to. Like the other night we bought, we did a small Aldi's order again. Because I needed to get chicken. Because we've been trying to keep more protein cooked up on hand. So we don't eat other stuff. And they really, they told Brad that they really want him to eat a lot of protein uh, while he's recovering and stuff. So I need to get more ch chicken, uh, boneless, skinless, and then I need to get more hamburger. And uh, the price of hamburger and stuff, I mean, wow, can you, you guys all remember even 20 years ago how hamburger was one of those cheap meats. I would count on that I could buy it when the kids were growing up. Hamburger and chicken. Then I might be able to buy pork and maybe a roast or a little bit of, of inexpensive steak. But definitely the hamburger and the chicken. And the price of ground. Now, we like we don't like this the 73 uh, 27 because it's just too fatty for us. I mean, when I'm cooking up a hamburger patty and then it shrinks into a hockey puck, mm. you know, but you got this big old, and then it's swimming in all the fat. Um, so we usually try to do 85 15. Um, but the price of it is just what we end up doing is this. And really watch what you compare what you're doing. It was cheaper for us to get hamburger patties that were 85 15 than it was to buy the ground meat. The same type. So, and I told Brad, I said, we can take those hamburger patties and and unthaw them and crumble them up and use them just the same. And it saves you a lot of money. That was the catch. You know, and also, like, the chicken strips. You could buy frozen chicken tenderloins for a lot cheaper than I could boneless, skinless chicken. So we went that route. And I like that because we can reach in there and get out however many we want, um, you know, for what we're cooking. Maybe cook up a few extra... I like to try and keep some protein cooked in the fridge that maybe Brad will reach in and grab, you know. Um, you get a little hungry, have that and a little bit of, of, of fruit or vegetables, you know. And um, I, I think that's really a good deal. But, yeah, we ended up buying hamburger patties that were, it was eleven ninety nine for three pounds. And we figured out that would be three hamburger patties. Or no, four. Because there's 12 in there. Yeah. We make a pound. <clears throat> so, you know. We can use it just like that. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, it was going to be $4.55 for a pound of 80-20. Or no, 80-85-15 of the one pound rolls. There at Aldi. And that, they had a better price at Food Line. Food Line had a better price on your chicken breast, boneless, skinless, at $1.99 a pound. But I was using Instacart, and I, I don't want to put in multiple orders and, and, and every have paid tips and stuff multiple times. So, you know, it was a real small order, mainly meat yeah. <laughs> last night, just what we needed to get, um, you know, that. And we needed to get some bagels because they were, I don't know if there's a big cream cheese shortage. They don't seem to know when they might ever get any back anywhere. But so they had given us a couple times ago pumpkin spice cream cheese. Well, they weren't good on. Brad had it with a blueberry bagel and said it was not good. Blueberry. I was not going to have it on a on a everything bagel. So I think we got plain. Yeah. And. So we can use that cream cheese. <laughs> like, And it'll be good, too, if you decide to make pizzas or something. Oh, yeah. You know, 
I don't think I got any pepperoni, though. No, that's okay. There's okay. other things I can use. But, um, you know, just trying to make, make sense of the dollars and cents sometimes, you know. I didn't think we were going to have to go that route where it's like, well, okay, now ham hamburger patties might be cheaper, but dang, it doesn't make sense to me either, though. I mean, because they had to take the time to form these hamburger patties and freeze them and then package them, but they're going to be less. <clears throat> and they don't have any fillers in them when we checked. We made that mistake a long time ago buying something that was, I don't know what it was. It was supposed to be hamburger patties. But then it was like like thirty percent was uh, vegetable protein. Yeah, and I mean it was okay if you cooked it up and put it in like a noodle mix. Then it was tolerable or a rice mix. But yeah. by itself, mm. no. Not good. Now it came in handy when we we had those when we were in the RV. Yeah. We actually were using those when we were coming across country. Yeah. And that was kind of nice because you could thaw those out and cook them. You could cook your rice dish, you know, we use those pouches or the noodle mix and then throw it back in there, you know, kind of like a one one bowl wonder, <laughs> you know. Yeah. We, how long did we cook everything just about by the microwave, though? Oh, yeah. You had to time it out, too, because if you're using the electric skillet, this is in the RV, and when we went to the RV park, it would bump the breaker. So you had to only cook one thing at a time. So that got to be kind of a kind of a dance of I'm gonna cook this and then I'm gonna go I got pretty good at it and then yes, I'm gonna go over did. here and cook this. I never tripped the breakers. Yeah. I did. Sheila did all the time. Yeah. When she was when she, before she passed away and she lived right next door because we would go over there and uh help her. Yeah. Because she didn't know how to do it, remember? And we yeah. came home and it's like, Can we help you? <laughs> You know, because you didn't know, because the, the whole uh, breaker pull thing was over on our side. So, yeah, you know, I sure did love her. She was a, she nice, was a lady. nice lady. She was really, we talked all the time and, and had lots of plans. And I was really so sad when she passed away. And yeah. stuff. She wanted so many other things. And she loved yeah. her family so much. And, you know, really, I always wonder how her husband is doing these days. And, and then her daughter-in-law passed away just shortly after yeah. her. A young lady of lung cancer never had smoked <clears throat> at all. Now, her husband was a pretty heavy smoker, but, you know, I'm not saying that's how she got it. But it was really, you know, she, they left two little kids. Basically, that the youngest daughter was not that old, so. But, um, yeah, she was a nice lady. She was a character. Yes, she, was. she was a singer and stuff. She used to have a YouTube channel. You know, so, yeah. Can't remember what it was called now. Yeah. But, um, yeah. She was pretty good. But, um, yeah, I got pretty good at, at cooking, you know, of, of figuring out. You only tripped it a few times, though. Yeah. It wasn't like you tripped it every night. Yeah, but most. Because back then, I was doing most of the cooking. Yeah, and I was going to say most of the cooking I was doing, I was doing it outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were still able to walk pretty well, mm -hmm. well before we left the RV park. Yeah, all those times that I was walking, you know, it was about a half a mile down to the down to the bay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, grab yeah. His, his fish and stuff and go, you know, especially at night and stuff. And, and uh, you know, mm -hmm. it had to be cool looking out over the water at night, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, but yeah. So I'm going to probably do some looming tonight, undoubtedly, because, you know, I got a new loom. I got to break it in, right? I'm so excited. And I just finished that hat last night. So I don't even have anything going on a loom. Isn't that exciting? Yes, it is. I can no, I am really excited, though. Me, too. I can hardly contain myself. You know what? Bite me. I am really excited. I know. I am, too. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I'd love to see you use a new loom. Thank you. I was really upset. Because, like I said, you guys know what I mean by um, what your looms or, or other people maybe do, like stamp collecting or trains or or um, maybe models or whatever. And so whatever you're into. See, and this has an 80, a 72, and a 64 peg loom. So, um, yeah, they're really nice. It's, 
This is the KB. And like I said, if you're interested, it's the KB 38 gauge um, knitting loom. And so it comes in a set like this. The cheapest I found was with our tax and everything was a, almost $42, which just, I'm like, <gasps> and I know that you could buy like Cindy Woods and stuff that cost you a lot more money, but you know, we got to be frugal here in this. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying not, I'm trying to save as much money as I possibly can, you know, because it always seems like we have something unexpected come up. And then you're like, hmm, you know, so I'm trying to be frugal. We were talking about that, though. That's one thing we talk about is how much money we do save mm -hmm. because, like, Brad fixed the toilet. That saved us up to $450 right there. Um, and it, even if you discount the two snakes, let's go on the high end and say it was 30 bucks total. Mm -hmm. was all, maybe let's go with 35 bucks total with all of the vinegar and... Yep. Drano and all that still compared to up to four hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, the other home repairs that he he's been learning to do and doing so well. Um I cut everybody's hair, including the the, aunt, the dogs and stuff. I do their nails, um, anal glands, uh air cleaning, all of that. Um, so that saves quite a bit. Um, we never do the dry cleaning, not that there's anything against that, but I've never personally taken anything to the dry cleaner. Um, we've had one jacket a year's dry clean because it's a, a specialty charger jacket. So um, we've had that done, but um, we never like have our car detailed. I mean, yeah. we just, I mean, we think we're pre being pretty elaborate having our, our yard done by, by our, by our friend. Yeah. You know, and, and I, I mean, I wouldn't, even with you get doing so much better physically, I wouldn't want to stop having him come by because, number one, we don't have any place for you to keep a lawnmower yeah. and a weed eater and stuff. And he does a phenomenal yeah, job. He, he really does. You don't ever have to worry about our yard looking poorly at all because he keeps on top of it all the time. And, you know, when he gets done with a yard, your yard looks perfect. And he takes care of your stuff. Like, he will spray weed killer against the skirting. So he doesn't have to use a weed eater and damage our skirting and stuff. I mean, he's that meticulous and careful, and your yard looks beautiful. Yep. He did our yard right after we moved in within probably two weeks. Mm -hmm. They had already mowed and stuff before we moved in, but he took care of, there were some some limbs that needed to be taken care of, and he cleaned up the yard, which we didn't think was bad, but when he got done, it was like, yeah. holy moly. Well, one thing. Um, the, <laughs> what are you doing, Nixie? You're being so chilly. <laughs> the, um, the lady mm -hmm. behind us, um, she hired two guys to do her yard, mm -hmm. and they charged ten bucks less. Mm -hmm. But she had just replaced her skirting, mm -hmm. and you look down around there, mm -hmm. and now their skirting has yep. so many holes in it yep. from the weed eater. Yep, they're yeah. not careful at all, and they do a they do a crap job. Yeah, I mean they leave so much grass out and stuff just. You yeah. know, they come through and they blow through and they just don't really do a good job at yeah. all. So and their lawn their lawnmower uh it didn't have a mulcher. Yeah. So it just left big clumps. That's what of, I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, I didn't know how to describe that. But yeah. big right. clumps of, of grass and stuff, usually over on our side, but you know, hi. Hi, how are ya? <laughs> how are ya? <laughs> She may be need out, probably, she honey. Might or she just no, because look at what time it is. They usually get let out, and then they get fed yeah. about this time. Do yeah. you need out, or do you just need a treat? Tell so, Dad, you need, we went over and nudging that treat thing. He yeah. need, they need it bad, Dad. Yeah. Charlie's going to tell you in a minute. What are you doing? Charlie gets the lid off by himself. Uh, look at Nixie. Hey, Nixie. <laughs> she went over there and got one herself. But, um, yeah, we try to save as much money as we can. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, I'm not, 
not criticizing or judging anybody that doesn't, you know, that you, you know, hire to have all this stuff done. It's just like I know people aren't going to judge because we hire to have our yard done, which is we're paying a lot of rent and stuff, you know. So, yeah, it isn't technically our yard, but it's our responsibility to take care of while we live here. That's in the week. So, um, you know, I think that's so how we've always survived with one income. Yeah. For the longest time. Oh, yeah. You well, know. you know, when you and I first met, you showed me so many ways. Um, I know. I think it just kind of blew you away because he was used to dating women that wanted him to spend a lot of money on them. In fact, he wanted to, for a very first date, take me out to a very expensive restaurant. We made that date, but then he ended up coming over a few days before that because he was excited to meet me and, and stuff and vice versa and, and stuff. And we went to this expensive dinner, and I told him, don't do that again. You know, i just uncomfortable at real formal places like that. If I walk in, and even it's a steakhouse, and you got rolls of paper towels on your table, I'm home. Yeah. I'm home, baby. There's that. Uh pizza place uh famous dates remember they're in you know in casper that they had the rolls of paper towels on the I table thought that was a barbecue place yeah famous dates you was. said it was a pizza know, place I, yeah. okay <laughs> yeah it was a that's barbecue. why i was looking confused i'm like pizza place yeah yeah i'm uh, like yeah. oh chicago didn't have no but yeah, yeah famous dates and I really, but old chicago was kind of laid back too i was. didn't you know but yeah. i don't want a super fancy I mean, it'd be okay once in a great while, but I really wouldn't. I, mean, I don't want it to be super, super fancy. I don't want there to be so many forks and spoons that I'm like, what, am I supposed to juggle these in the air or play the spoons or, yeah. you know? <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> I would never order crab legs or anything in a restaurant because, oh, you know, that's the most undignified way of trying to get that stuff out and not make a mess, yeah. you know? <laughs> But um, it's just a way to save money. So, you know, like that with what we did. We could have ordered, like, DoorDash tonight, but this is much cheaper. And, yeah. you know, we didn't even want to get the, like, the uh, the the whole meal deal with the French fries and the drink yeah. and stuff. Because we never can eat all the French fries yeah. anymore. And, um, yeah, we can give the leftovers to the dog, but we really don't want to feed them a whole lot of garbage either and you know the soft drinks are never usually taste right they usually aren't mixed correctly so very watered down yes yeah, so it's like ugh, why am i paying all of this yeah. so you know it's a good deal yep. so i hope you guys had a good weekend we did mm -hmm. it was kind of boring but you know um that's life, but it was a beautiful spring day out today. I'll tell you guys, I don't know what temperature got up to be, but it was beautiful. But I could tell it when the sun, when it started cooling off, I'm like, Ugh. yeah, you know, yeah, get and but it was a beautiful spring day. The grass is starting to eat everywhere, and there's a few trees that are blooming. We saw the most beautiful, I thought of you, Carol, light, light pink trees in bloom. Over there by the, at the Nash Day Hospital over by there. And then they had real faint lavender, too. Beautiful. I just love it when the season change, y'all. <laughs> y'all, I can't get Brad to say y'all. He's not going to do it. Y'all. No, y'all. You all. No, you have to do it in one word, y'all. Y'all. I'm going to have Emily teach you how to do the y'all. Yeah, um, no. You know, I'm gonna get you eat you some boiled peanuts and some grits. <sighs> I can tolerate grits. I don't like them, but if they're cheese grits, I can stomach them, but not so plain. I'm like, no. But them boiled peanuts, it's just like hot peanut. Now I like some warm peanut butter. That stuff was just mmm. Not good. Our good friend, our little Eddie, as we called him. Yeah. He was the first friend I ever made in fantasy, even though he really didn't even know it. But here's this little guy, and a lot of times he'd wear even a tie. Maybe not a shirt, but he'd be wearing that tie and a hat. And he'd sit there selling bo boiled peanuts um, as you went out of fantasy. At way and he would wave at everybody, so I waved back. And then Brad got to know him when Brad worked at 
Dollar General. And he would always come in without his shoes on. And Brad would say, where are your shoes? Because, you know, it was their policy, he had to wear shoes. And so Brad would even hook him up with a pair of shoes and, and say, now, when you come back in, please wear these. He'd come back in without the shoes. But we really liked him. We called him, he was known everywhere as the peanut man. And uh, he he sold the hot peanut, the boiled peanut, and then the spicy boiled peanut. Then he it, 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 he expanded into maybe selling watermelons and cantaloupes yep. and all kinds of stuff. I mean, he was a hustler too. Yeah. He would he worked it hard, and sadly he got I don't know what kind of cancer and passed away. Um, but he was such a nice guy. Yeah. I mean, it was a, I know it sounds funny, but. Being in a new area, you know, and being where we don't even know where the grocery stores and stuff are, you know, when we get to Florida, it's such a foreign concept, and we're, I, you know, we're the first time we're away from Wyoming, moving and stuff, and um, not knowing a soul, and so just to even have this guy, I could always count on that he would wave, and it meant a lot to me. I know it sounds funny, but it meant a lot to me. It was just that that normalcy of, hey, somebody waves. And, and you know, of course, then when he knew Brad, he'd come over and talk to us and, and stuff. And we'd stop and and talk with him and stuff. Yeah. You know, it was very sad that he passed away, yeah. you know. Yeah. You know, lost a lot of friends and stuff in that area mm -hmm. just in a short time. Oh, yeah. There was one individual we didn't know um, that committed suicide in the RV park in his travel trailer. And uh, it was really hard to see his mom and sister coming to get his car and stuff. I don't think they've let him in the travel trailer at that time. I don't know what, I don't know if the police hauled that off to investigate because they found him there. I don't remember what really happened to the travel trailer. But, um, you know, and our friend Carl that lived right next to us passed away. Sheila on the other side passed away. Our friend Kay was almost died. Yeah. She had a severe stroke and stuff and uh, uh, you know and Peanut Man. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it was tough. Yeah. It was. It makes you think about life. Oh and then, you know, our friend Bob, all right in there just, mm -hmm. you know, bam, bam, bam. Yeah. You know. So, um, yeah, so I hope you guys had a good weekend, and, you know, it's Monday, let's make this week rock. Yep. You know, remember what I always say, do something nice for somebody else, and do something nice for yourself, and with that, we'll say, say goodbye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.